welcome to code slide in this lesson we will see how to display the selection on the form by having the list of elements and then we will also see the how to uh, how to display the errors for in the form so let's start so previously we were here um, we were displaying the form so we had this form i want uh, now i want the department has to be a selection so for the selection what i'll use is i'll use select option and uh, departments instead of input text i'll have a selection so department is this is a field select but the options i want to send from the packing bean uh, sorry not back and from the spring boot so the all the departments will come from the spring boot let's go to the controller so this is a controller so when the initially the list should be loaded from the get so let's add the get all the departments so I'm adding the all departments which I want in the template and the list of departments. So let me add this one. So I'm adding new attribute called all departments along with employee. So the the list will be populated the select uh, the selection options will be populated from the all the departments so the you so the we can select one of these departments instead of manually inputting the departments so if we see go back to the index so if we go back to index so this is a department this is mapped to the backing bit department but the options which we want to display for the user to select is from all departments this is a for each we already saw that for each and then we add the value to the option so let's let's run this i said all this one let's go back to one prompt So let me reload the application. Yeah. So if you see this um, compared to earlier form application, this one has the selection. So the selection, this list comes from the all departments attribute which we added in the get method. And then I can select one of these departments. So let me select one search and thousand. So we will be printing the values. So we'll go back to the command prompt and see there's an employee name and department. So in this way we can have the selection in the form by having the list supplied from the attribute. So if you see that list comes from here. Okay. Now we'll see how to display the errors in the in in the form so so to display errors basically we have the errors and the uh, and the errors and the th dot these two basically th errors so this says the attribute that holds form validation errors this is the attribute this denotes the th errors denotes attribute that holds the form validation errors there's also another special attribute called error class all caps all small sorry the error class 
it's a CSS class it holds the CSS class that will be added to the form if it's if a specified field has validation so we will shortly see how to do that so we will we'll be using these two so let's take one of the fields so let's take employee field we never want employee field to be null or empty so we want to add a validation for the employee field and that validation errors should be shown to the shown to us when we make any errors so let's add to the the employee and employee name if you see we are having if the fields the fields that means the fields of the employee has errors that means name is a field this is a name field has errors if this has errors then the css class the error class is nothing but the css class so we need to define the css class that is of type error and then this is this denotes the field which has the error okay so to, to work to make it work we need to define this style style class with the name error okay let's do the here i'll define the style for that error okay. so now the template is done so what uh, let's repeat what what we have said we get the we check the error name and then if there is an error then we display the text the error messages the error messages with the css that is error this css so this error and this error should be same that is the css this is css class basically so that will be applied to the errors so the error will be displayed with C the css so let's go back to the controller before that i want to define my validation so i want to apply the validations for the my employee so let me apply that so i'll show this one as not empty employee name is not empty so this validation has come from let me show this it comes from this start, spring boot starter validation i have already included that so this validations come from that uh, so this well from the employee i am saying that the name field should never be empty non empty as well as its minimum size is 4 and maximum is um, maybe 25 this is a maximum size that i want for this employee name so let's go back to the so this is done now we need to handle the controller part so then i'll say at valid and then i'll add the binding result so that when there is when well any validation errors this will be populated the binding results will be populated let me fix the imports so now the binding results will be populated with the errors that as there so we need to get the errors and then these are the errors uh, i want to give, i want to get back so if
there are errors if there are errors what we should do i should add attribute so i want to display the existing employee that is whatever been whatever the employee data which has the error so i want to say go back to the old data so and then return index we are not this we are not going to the success page but the index phase here you need to observe one thing between the this one and this one we are both are having the index only the difference is the this index will be populated by the employee that i have filled previously so there is an error we'll see that error what is the error okay so let's save all yeah we saved let's go back we run the application so we we leave this as blank and then select as sales and then just display so the size must be between 4 to 25 because we have put the empty and employee name cannot be empty these are two validation but you see see the department the department is empty because we didn't populate the list so we fix first department we'll go back here we copy this yeah we have we don't have the all departments attribute so we are filling that and if you see that whatever we entered previously that employee id is coming back so that is because we are passing back the the employee which is coming which is submitted so that's the reason we get back the data so let's rerun this So I'll be I'll keep the employee name empty. Submit. If you see the departments is now proper, it is again set to the one we have said previously, and the error message is proper. So let's say H. Yeah. So the error the all the validations are successful and then it is sent to the success so so if you see all the validations are done and then it there is no errors it redirects to success so let's recap so we used selection and the list of ad departments come from the all departments model attribute and we also was able to show the errors for the field which has errors so the uh, to display the error we used the error class which is mapped to the style class and the field which has the error is mapped to the th errors so this is how the errors can be displayed we can also display the errors all together on the top or bottom of the form that is other way of displaying and or you can display error for each individual individual field yeah this ends with ends the lesson thanks for watching see you in the next lesson